walk the property, you know, to take the fence line or something like that, and I'll hear, uh, I'll hear children laughing and playing. Uh, thank God I don't hear, you know, the screams and crying that, you know, might have been happening during the, uh, the gathering and the fire. Uh, yeah. yeah, sometimes we get uh, uh, night raiders uh, locally from the uh, local university, uh, Baylor. You wouldn't think Christian kids would be about that, but two o'clock in the morning after the bar closes, they can, you know, go anywhere but home, you know, they can come out here. Yeah. So we deal with it. It's, uh, you know, once or twice a month. So it's not, you know, it's not terrible, but it's terrible to think about. It is. Absolutely right. And it's, uh, it's not so spooky during the day. You know, so it's like work in the fields and everything like that. But occasionally moving things around uh, at the site, you know, there's still a lot of stuff buried or uncovered. Wow. So you're still coming up with pieces of Oh, yeah. Uh, last year I found a uh, parachute player, which apparently uh, was never listed as being used, but it was definitely used. And that to me is an incendiary device. That it is an incendiary device. Yeah, you shoot that into the house rather than up in the sky and you get that same bright flame. Which you can't be put out. No, it's like 1700 degrees. So that'll start a fire immediately. So yeah, I guess we have to believe our eyes for what we did see the government do. Oh yeah. Uh, the government's own film footage for the last day, no matter how they uh, redacted it, what they did show, you know, was uh, gunfire coming into the house as people were trying to escape out the back door. Mm -hmm. So there were at least uh, 20 bodies down the bullet room. Now some were self-inflicted, uh, but a lot of people were shot in the arms and legs and in the back. you got to figure, you know. That's <laughs> not self-inflicted. No. So, yeah, and of course the bodies were held for a later autopsy. Uh, but at some point in time, somebody unplugged the refrigerator at the uh, ME's office and uh, all the bodies were buried within a week having uh, decomposed. So no, no official autopsy on these gunshot victims. Unreal. Uh, the same with the uh, ATF agents who died the first day. The preliminary autopsy revealed that uh, three had been killed by temple shots. ATF was then recalled and in was called the Texas National Guard. Just as likely to be friendly fire as anything else. TF was then recalled, and in was called the Texas National Guard. Which is not to say the people inside weren't defending themselves, but you know the ATF agents came in here uh, took cowboys on home. They couldn't help but shoot each other. And this was about it. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the story.